In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And if that spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by spirit that dwells in you. But the Holy Spirit that was sent to us will teach us all things and will remind us of everything that has been said concerning us. The Spirit of God, the Spirit of Truth, our Comforter, the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Hallelujah to the Lord Most High. My name is God's Father and I'm a teacher of God's Word. Hallelujah. Now I want to appreciate everyone that's been following us through last year. I want to appreciate God for your life. I want to thank you uh, for being a good listener to us. Amen. You see, every week I come into your house and I, I try to bring God's word. And you're always there listening to me, sharing God's word, subscribing. The Lord bless you richly in the name of Jesus. And I want you to know that whenever you share my videos, you're doing God's work. You are actually doing God's word. Amen. Because you're sharing those, the gospel to the world to hear. You're bringing the message to that man, to that woman, to that child that needs to hear God's word. God's word of deliverance. God's words of empowerment and words that strengthen the spirit. You're bringing them God's word and you're bringing deliverance to the people. As you continue to do so this year, I want to say to you that the Lord will increase you on all sides in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you again for joining me. It's a new year and I want to bring God's words to you. You see, on last Saturday, um, I, I, I said something that the Lord asked me to say to his people. And the, Bible, and the Lord told me that I should bring two instructions to his people and a promise. Amen. And part of the instruction was to tell you that we have to rely on the Spirit of God in his entirety this year. Total reliant on the Spirit of God. Amen. And during that program, I, I did I did say I'm going to bring uh, God's word in relation to a teaching of the Spirit of God, who the Holy Spirit is, how to assess uh, His presence and, and how to leverage on what He has for us. Amen. So it will be a series. I think it will be a four-part series. Uh, uh, in this in this topic and I trust the, the Lord is going to help us and the Spirit of God is going to give us direction on where to go, how to go and how to study this world even as I bring God's teachings to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Now we'll be going straight to the word and I want you to stay with me. Stay with me, I'll be back to you in a moment. Amen. Welcome back. God bless you. Amen. So today I will just um, try to uh, introduce uh, the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to introduce that third person of Trinity. Hallelujah. You see, the Holy Spirit is, is a wonderful person. The Holy Spirit is, is all we need. Amen. Praise the Lord. You see, some people mistake the Holy Spirit uh, to be an influence, to, to be a feeling. No, he's not. He's a person. Amen. He's a person. He's the third person of Trinity. Amen. Praise the Lord. You see, um, God was uh, saying uh, during creation of man, uh, when he called the Godhead, something happened there. He called the Godhead and he said, uh, let's make man in our own image and likeness praise the lord so you look like god you look like the spirit of god you look like jesus amen so the holy spirit is a person amen you see the holy spirit is one person that has given the success we need in this world the success of this world all this key to the holy spirit praise the lord it's all this key to the Holy Spirit. So our subjection to the Holy Spirit is of great importance. If we must fulfill God's great desires for our life, if we must fulfill God's great promises for our lives, and if we must fulfill His word as well. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Spirit of God is of great importance to us. I read something for us in God's word in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 2. The Bible says, that the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep and the spirit of god 
was hovering over the face of the waters. Amen. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Praise the Lord. The Bible actually was saying that the Spirit of God was preparing the scene. The Spirit of God was preparing the scene, hovering over the water, anticipating what is about to happen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, the usefulness of the Holy Spirit started from the beginning of creation. Praise the Lord. In that part, we see that the midst of all chaos, in the midst of all chaos, seeing at the time the Holy Spirit was gradually looking around, taking stock, planning, and breathing upon the waters, everything what is about to happen next. Praise the Lord. The Spirit of God was useful even from the beginning. Amen. What does that say, Jesus? We don't have to jump doing anything without first allowing the Spirit of God to take charge. Praise the Lord. That's how important he is. Praise the Lord. That's how important the Spirit of God is. Jesus speaking to his disciples in Luke chapter 24 and verse 49. I quickly we want to read that to us. Amen. The Bible says, And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. Praise the Lord. So what was he saying? He was saying, now I'm sending you out. I'm sending you out to the world, but don't go yet. Wait till the Spirit of God come upon you first before you go out. Amen. So if you must do anything, you need to rely on the Spirit of God. Amen. You need to rely on the Spirit of God. Jesus was saying, no, you see, as a child, uh, if you have to be effective with God, you have to make sure the Spirit of God is with you first. Amen. Praise the Lord. You see, if Jesus Christ can trust him, you have to trust him. Because Jesus Christ was with him from the beginning. Amen. So if Jesus can trust him, you have to trust him, even as David did. David says something in Psalm 51 and verse 11. He said, do not take away the spirit. He said, do not take me from your presence, Lord, and do not take the spirit from me. Do not banish me from your presence and don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Praise the Lord. Amen. David had the understanding of who the Holy Spirit is. David knew that he can't function without the Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. So we need to have a total reliance on the Spirit of God that help us, that search the heart of man, that help us to do all things. So I'm introducing him to us today, that even as we go through the series, as we go through learning who he is and what he does, that we should know and have the understanding that he was at the beginning, he was there, and there is nothing that was done without the Spirit of God. He is the working power of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. We need the Holy Spirit. We need to rely on Him. So as I introduce Him to you, as we learn who He is in subsequent uh, um, uh, messages, I, I am trusting God to give us understanding, to know Him, to learn from Him, to, to, to walk with Him, uh, to, to rely on Him, so that we can live the fullness of how God wants us to live. In the name of Jesus Christ. So I'll be bringing us more messages. Uh, this is an introduction. Uh, and I trust God is going to help us in Jesus name. I'd like to pray for you before I go. I'd li like to pray for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now I, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Everyone looking at me. I pray for you as we learn the word of God. And, and, and go through uh, his word. Learning of the spirit of God. Uh, that the Lord will give us understanding. Understanding to know what we need to know. As these teachings come. Our heart will be open, receptive to receive God's word that will take us to our next level in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for your people and I pray, oh God, that this word come, that this word will bring about change to our lives. It will bring about deliverance. It will be about, about strength to, to, the, to the weak in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, amen. I'd like you to tell everyone that the word of God is coming in the form of knowing more about the Holy Spirit. We'll be going in depth to God's 
world and we're going deeper to knowing who the Spirit of God is. As this word come every week to you, I want you to embrace it. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I'd like you to share this message and bring this information to everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. So that they can learn, so that they can be blessed of God in the name of Jesus. God bless you. I'll be coming back to you shortly in the name of Jesus. Now, I'd like to quickly uh, invite you to our, our Saturday program on your side weekend. It's a time we come together uh, and to appreciate God for all he did through the week. It's a time we come to make declaration for the week coming. It's a time we come to say thank you, Abba Father, for your goodness and for your grace. As you join us on Saturday, 2 p.m. GMT, 2 p.m. UK time, uh, Ireland time, the Lord will increase you and bless you. In Jesus' name. Till I come again uh, to you uh, shortly. Uh, God bless you.